guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will be removing the solar panel for the summer. Unfortunately, uh, when I travel on weekends, I'm working during the week now, uh, it's not worth it to have a mounted solar panel on your roof. Another reason is that I also have to put a kayak on my car in about a month and the box will also be coming off. And as for why I had this panel in the first place, it's secure, it can handle high winds, not only from driving, but even crosswinds on the road. It's like not easily taken, so it's not like just a folding panel that you take up and like rest in your car or put on your roof. Also, it requires no setup. So while this was running, I don't have the cord right now because I have the window down, but usually it goes in here and attaches to my jackery and I switch the cord from pass-through charging from my car while it's on to solar when I leave for the day. Had this for the winter season, a snowboard during the day so I leave my car for up to eight hours at a time and if I do any backcountry camping it could be multiple days. I wanted something that was secured to my car in a way where it's not easily just like oh let me just take this and keep on walking. There were a lot of instances where whole power system was up to 100% charging all my batteries so my MacBook. I have two batteries for each of my GoPros. This is a GoPro 10, I have a GoPro Max, gimbal, and I run a fan every night, even in the wintertime. And what else? Oh, I run lights, massage gun, and a heating pad. I already told you guys this. There's another video if you literally want to see how all of this is set up. It goes all the way from mounting to soldering. This was originally like a three panel system that I cut up, dismantled, took all the hinges off, all unwanted weight, and made it into a two panel system. And it works great. Why well, have something in your car when you're not using it? That was my mentality. I'm only taking weekend trips, and even if I do charge my jacket up beforehand, it's never gonna reach zero on a two-day trip. If you are taking a road trip and going from destination to destination and are still driving, you can pretty much use pass-through charging to charge your power source in your car. That's not an issue. It's when you're away from your car that's that's where this helps. Or in a case where you are, say, camping in the same location, like you're car camping or you go overlanding and you're kind of off the grid, you don't want to keep running your car just to charge your battery. Solar is definitely the way to go. And who knows, maybe I'll think about getting a more lightweight, portable solar panel that has some sort of lockable option to it or something. So, right as I started to do a time lapse the second half of this video, I realized that not only does my box need to be shifted, but the racks do as well. I had to shift the racks as far as I could to that side because the box actually overhangs where the mount is located. I hate looking at my car like this, it looks naked. I at least need the racks on, but I, I purposely took them off because I need to clean my car and I haven't been able to get to the roof or any of these areas. I am planning on cleaning my box up inside and outside while I have it off the car. I have this vinyl protectant that you're supposed to kind of like buff in to the box and I done it once already and it definitely protects it from like sun fading and just getting debris stuck to it it washes off a little better so probably take the um power washer out when i start to clean the car just to do it because a lot of just pollen and stuff from the air it's springtime everything's blooming you can't really get around that but i'm at a good stage right now or i can call it quits for today but there's also like a bunch of bugs not only stuck to the car but stuck to the box stuck to the uh the front of the panel just gonna try my best to clean everything gnarly i'm allergic to wasps and there's a dead one right there but that's about it got the power washer box crossbars the tule ones and the solar panel and i'll be washing all those including the car but i'll see you tomorrow <laughs> 